Hello and welcome back to Persona 3. Last time we started climbing the tower and we are continuing to climb the tower. Now we are a few levels higher than we were before. So there is a certain argument for going and like seeing if we can fuse any personas. The problem with that is that because we're using the max level personas of a lot of different uh, social links, there's not actually that many personas we could fuse into necessarily. So, what does that mean? Well, that means that I'm not going to do it, and we're just going to carry on up the thing, and we'll see how things go. When we reach um, some kind of thing we can't get past, that's when that's when we'll look at fusing. That's kind of my general thought. We'll see. We'll probably look at fusing towards the end as well, so we get like our ideal team and go for it. Although then it's when it that that be when it adds a new party member, and then we have to be like. Okay, so now I have to grind this new party member up and without somehow increasing our level further. Anyway, I'm going to do a save here. And then we're going to run in. Uh, we should... I don't know which one this one is, but yeah, we should just make sure we're on Thor. This will be fine. Uh, I have no idea what this enemy is. What it does. It seems to be guarding this area. Be careful, it's powerful. Thanks. I, I hadn't worked out it was guarding the area or that it might be powerful. Right, so it's a carnal snake. A I'll scan the target. Let's lower the defense. Let's see what happens. I mean, it seems generally to be a good thing. I didn't use skill support on Yukari, but we should be fine. Doesn't matter for turn one because she goes first. I did no damage. Okay, so probably strong against that, I would guess. Mm. Or a ton of health. That's the other option. Love the fact that you got instant kill moves, my favorite. Okay. Okay, reflect on physical. Nice. There is pierce attack, so then you're gonna heal yourself. Okay. Well, that's awkward. Uh, let's figure out where to go first with this. So, tactics wise, Yukari, you're gonna go on to heal support. You will res her next turn. If I was to attack with Vicious Strike, would that, that would get reflected by all three, so that's a bad move. Okay. Um, we know that they're probably strong against um, uh, a bent wind, so let's try electric. We do a lot of electric damage. Okay, so they're strong against electric too. Might be strong against everything that isn't physical. Could be very awkward for our current team setup. Hey, it you fell over. That's stealing MP. All of the MP. Holy moly. Wow. Okay. Well, Yukari is going to heal everybody next turn. Uh, let's switch up our persona. Try to let's go Hellbiker. I think they might be immune to fire, but let's just check. Right? This is what this is for. Let's just try some fire. Nope, exactly the same. So fire isn't it. So we know wind, fire, and electric are not it. We haven't seen them try ice yet, which probably means that that is also not a thing. That's fine. Because they're taking our SP, I have to assume this is a physical based fight. Okay, so we know those those don't do anything. Uh, we know it's, have they still got reflect on? They should do, right? Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, Yukari probably needs healed if we're gonna actually do this fight, but I don't think we are. Let's try something crazy. Seeing what I have available, but seem crazy. How about Daisoju? Followed by Samsara. Let's try an instant kill. Me. Probably a mute. Block. Okay. That's fine. I like this as block into a mist. That means it's guaranteed immunity. We're going to try dark next turn. That's fine. We have Munculus. It doesn't affect us. We block it anyway. That's fine. That's fine. Mood on. She might die. Doesn't matter. Why? Let's try our dark type move with Alice. 
Hey, Alice. Uh, we use Die for me. Which is very heavy dark type move. Block. Okay. I won't lose. So they, literally the only thing we haven't tried is ice, I think. Uh, out of the um, elemental attacks. Okay. We, we can't die from that. Okay. That's fine. Do we have ice as a thing? Oh, you know what we could do? We fool it, yeah. Nope. That's not going to be effective either. Okay. We're probably dead. That's fair. Okay. So, we're going to do a little party reshuffle after having seen how that went. By that, I mean Mitsuru is probably going out. I think I guess can stay. But yeah, definitely a party reshuffle needs to be thought about. Because we know that it's only weak to physical moves. That just means that Junpei wouldn't be terrible. What's our... I think we're lower level on people who have physical moves, unfortunately. So Junpei Akihiko are who I'm thinking. So I guess as well. I think Junpei Akihiko and I guess are all low level. Yeah, unfortunately that is true for Junpei and Akihiko. Ah. So it may be worth switching up our party. So let's get you. Uh, add in. Let's let you replace Mitsuru. I would be without a healer if I get rid of you. Might be okay. I, I really want uh, to get the level up. So let's do this right now. We can all switch in a healer later. Right. Do a quick save. Um, we should check in here for a high physical attacker. That's what we're looking for. Just somebody who can do a ton of physical damage. Let's do our registering first as well. I mean, Thor could in theory do a ton of physical damage. And Thor might be our best option. Uh, let me check and fuse just to see where we're at with that. But we might also have a better option than Thor in general. So Thor is 71... Hellbiker is 66. So they're both about the same. Have we got anybody who's like looking better? Uh, no. So I think it's Thor and Hellbiker, which is kind of what you expect. They're the ones that we boosted the stats on. Yeah, the only other one who's close is Horus, which could be okay for the high counter, but yeah. If we had a way of removing Tetracorn, that would be nice, but I don't think we have that. I don't even know if it's a thing in this game. I think in one of the other games, there's a way to remove it via an ability. I have not seen any proof of that existing. So, yeah, we can make... Oh, we can't quite make a, a Baden here. Which would still not even be that strong. Yeah, something to think about, though. It's not that far off. Uh, wait, who were we on? Alice? Yeah. Valkyrie, no. Nebrios, no. Albiker, same thing, because it's the other way around. Raphael, we could potentially make. Garuda is 65, so that's very close. We do have a 10 star on that as well. Yeah, problem with Garuda is the same problem with everything else. Garuda is also not necessarily that amazing. Well, we, it would be Horus plus Gikurihimi. Okay. I mean, that's not terrible. Horus currently has no real purpose in our team. So we could make Garuda. Uh, Mahamon is okay, but not again, not incredible. Growth 3 is probably the best thing we could get. I think I'm going to make it. Yeah, let's make it. Let, let, let's see how this goes. This is probably going to be like a very high level thing for us, which is all, all we might need. I am Garuda. I was born of thee and shall walk by thy, thy side. Okay. So, first thing, we get Amrita. Which is, I think, a... Um, it removes negative effects. Uh, high counter would be useful. Alright, let's see what we get. So... Cures all ailments party. That's really good, potentially. So this could be really good as a removing debuffs. Neutralizing poison is therefore garbage. 
deals Mage and Pierce damage to all foes times by two. Nice thing about times by two is that you get double chance of a crit, I think. Yeah, so I think it's better than post Moody. Yeah. That seems best. What's about to happen to Arrow Rain? Absolutely not, no. Okay, leveled up again. Repel Wind is interesting. I think Repel Wind is probably better than Restore One Ally's Health. Yeah, that seems fine. It, it gives us a immunity rather than a um, uh, rather than just a strength. I think is good. Right, we'll head out here. So the Arrow Rain ability might be okay depending on what its actual weakness is. We don't know that yet. That's our first level 70 there, okay. Now let's see what we can fuse. We've now got a higher level one, maybe that unlocks the next tier of Personas? Nope, absolutely not. At least not from that, that point of view. Triangle? We go Grudiger. Nope. Pixie? Nope. Nandi? We make Horus, but that's just like going back around the circle again. They sold you. Yeah, we make Horus and you are your longer. Okay. As my Bufu dying. Okay. We can potentially make something with my Bufu dying, which means that we can finish that quest. It's interesting. I don't know if it's something we want to do immediately, but it's interesting. Suparna. Hmm. Yeah, it's not really what we're after. Seth. It's one from this level. Uh, it has very high strength. Like, its base strength value is incredible. Growth 3, Amrita. This is at. Oh, we have to get rid of Thor for it? Oh, no. Oh, no. Thor and Hellbiker. Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> uh, we could get rid of Nebrios instead of Thor, but still, we have to get rid of Hellbiker for it, which is not, like. That's not ideal. Definitely not ideal to get rid of Hellbiker for this thing. Although it does have Mirage Dine. It's pretty good, but the problem. Oh, wait, look at that. I didn't realize this because it didn't tell us it in the game, but stats are actually. Ah, the stat of what you fuse in does actually fit the stat of the end thing. I don't think it told us this in this game. It was a thing in future games, but I, for some reason I'd assumed it wasn't in this one. Okay, so that's why it stats so high, is because it's inheriting from Thor and Hellbiker. We inher if we inherit from Nebrios, it suddenly becomes like much worse. Yeah. Okay. Good to, good to know, good to know. So I shouldn't really be making things with Pixie. <laughs> Just because, you know, it's not really ideal. We go Nebrios and then Azuzu to be Kabisha Monten. Which would be okay, but again, not really what we're looking for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. None of that's really what we're looking for. Okay. Cool. Uh, are we going to cross or other ones that seem like they might be good right now? Uh, this one is one that we can potentially go for at some point if we wanted to. I don't think we need to, though. Pentagon spread? We Tamas we've done. That one's interesting. This one is also potentially achievable. And then Hexagon spread. This is like the insane. These are the insane ones. Uh, I think we have everything for that one actually, and it's a full one actually, which means that that's probably worth trying to get. You have to fuse six into it though, which is insane. Like actually, just thinking about it, fusing six in is nuts. Because, to fuse six into something, we might also have this one as well, actually. Uh, to fuse six into something, you have to have six free slots on your team. So effectively, we would have to have this entire bottom half done. I suppose we could take out Gur, Pixie, Nandi, and Valkyrie. We're almost there, but still. It's a lot of spare slots you have to have free. Okay, that's fine. We'll leave that be. I'm just purely doing it as a speculative what if, right? What if we did it? But now we have a new persona. Uh, let's let's just try it, right? 
this this is team number two. Uh, I'll go in here and equip them in here, uh, just to make sure they're equipped. But it's team number two versus this thing. And we'll just put everyone on full assault and just do as much damage as we can. That, that's plan number two. Okay. Uh, and then we might do some leveling. Uh, let's do this. Just want to check that you're on the best thing. You are indeed. Yep. Uh, vestment. Yeah, this seems good. We could give you a strength one, but that's fine. Greaves of Dawn are fine. Indra Bracer. In this case, we would actually want to switch you to... Omega Drive. Uh, you. While we're here. I think you're probably best on Omega Drive like 100% of the time. Yeah. Uh, and then you're, you're all set up anyway. Right, and then you. Uh, Berserker Seal. Acne Bracer. I don't think you need that for this particular fight. I think Berserker Seal is probably the best. I could give you Spirit Bracers. Potentially. But let's go Berserker Seal. Double check that you're equipped. You do appear to be equipped with everything you need. Oh, we can go from the Deathbringer to a Spyhander. A high critical hit. In which case, we want to give you the Omega Drive. Okay. Hey, you. I would love it if this was in one menu, but, like, you can't be too bad because, you know, obviously future games put it in one menu, so they're, they're well aware of this as well. Must have been a PS2 limitation, I would reckon. Like, why the menus are done like this. I don't know what the limitation is, but I would say suspect it was something. So he now has a very high crit weapon, high crit rate item on. We're now going to give you the Berserker Seal. I guess you're our healer right now. Berserker Seal to keep you alive, potentially. I don't know. This might be a Junpei fight, now that I think about it. It's a fight where physical is ben it's beneficial and um, fire is the, their strength. This, this seems good. Right, I'm gonna do a save here. I'm just thinking in my head as to how we want to handle this. Wait for those two in case it messes things up. So this is full damage. All we're doing is doing a DPS check. How much damage can we do versus how much damage can they take? Right. So we're gonna start by going into tactics. Akihiko, you can do whatever you like. Uh, you're gonna go to that mode. You're gonna go full assault. Is there full assault but don't use SP? No, not really. Okay. Full assault. And then you're gonna use vicious strike. Hit him. Hey, we got a crit. That's a great start. Heat wave. Another crit on the same one that got crit last time. Firebreak is fine, that's a waste of a turn. Spirit Drain is fine, we're not using uh, mana. Udon is not fine, please don't die. I hate that. Oh, I should have... Uh, yeah, I should have... Uh, done this on one of them. Okay, um... I hate it, but it is probably worth it to... Probably worth it to res. Yeah, this bomb of life. It might even be worth it to do a magic block on turn one. Instead of attacking. Heat wave. Very good damage. So it is actually almost dead. Okay. That's fine. If he dies, it's not the end of the world. It's fine. What's Spring of Life? That must be an ability he has that I missed. No crits there. Okay. I'm gonna hit them for damage. This should be, I guess, his last turn of buff. This is our last turn to get an easy kill. Nice. 
Don't care. Tetracarn. We, we turn on Rush. This means this guy will attack them. We turn off Rush. It does work. Okay. Tetracarn is not applied to either right now. Vicious Strike. I guess it's going to go into a like, power down mode in a second. Oh! No, that was applied to one of them still. That's fine. It's not the end of the world. That is the end of the world. Okay. We can optimize that fight a little bit. That was actually very achievable. That was not an impossible fight. So what we want to do is we want to start by doing a magic blocker as our first move. That magic reflection, I think, is going to make it much better because that will also reflect Mudo, I think. It Could be wrong. But if I, I assume that will also affect Mudo, then that's fine. So you want to go full damage. I understand. You want to go full assault. Don't really care about... Wait, that's the wrong person. You want to act freely. Try that. You want to go full assault. Want to identify what they're doing. And then I want to use a... Not the cookie. Want to use a magic mirror. That will give everybody at least one turn of survivability. Okay, that doesn't matter. Basically a wasted turn, but that's okay. They now know. Heat wave. Not incredible damage compared to last time. That's fine. He gets to attack with his extra crit. No crits yet. Spirit Drain matters very little. In fact, it benefits us. That's okay. I mean, minus the fact that he's going to die. But, you know, it's fine. Hit. So, Vicious Strike. Good damage. Use this. Okay. Persona. Heat wave again. That gonna crit? No crit. Okay. Does not bother me in the slightest that you did that. And then it's Blade off. of Fury. Yeah. No crit that off of that. It's countered. That's okay. Would have humunculist anyway. That's fine. Right, we're still alive. Vicious Strike. This should be the last turn of Aegis' buff, I think. So, the chance we get killed here. It's okay. Me realizing Akihiko doesn't have a physical attack move. That's fine. Or at least not one that he's willing to use. No death. Life drain is horrible. Yeah, okay. That, that is really horrible. I have to just go for the kill here, I think. Yeah, because we, we can't let them use life drain anymore. We got two. Thanks for the medicine. It's not really a lot, though. He's down. The chance we just die here. That's okay. One enemy is fine. Uh, how much health does it have left? I just want to see his health bar. Uh, if I do this, there we go. Okay. Um, honestly, our best plan here is to use a Soma. There we go. It's the only plan that has any amount of sensibility behind it. It's still alive. Would have used a bead chain if I had one, but I don't think I do. Um, this is fine. Uh, let me just change. So you're still out. You are gonna do that. Let me double check something with him, actually. Wait, no, I can't check in combat. I was gonna check like what you can do, but whatever. Vicious strike. Let's hit it. Heavy damage. Good. It's still alive. He's still overheated. Should be back next turn. That life drain is horrible. For us, anyway. 
really need like another. You know what? We're probably best off just um, bomb of life thing, Junpei. Having an extra party member, I think, is going to be so much more valuable. Cool heal is also great here. Yeah. Fire break is great. Okay, so they use fire break if you have any immunity to fire and it wastes a turret. All right, learning. Great crit. Let's go. That wasn't too bad. We learned about the boss. We equipped correctly and we defeated the boss. Yeah, that was okay. We did it! That was a tough one, but I knew you'd pull through. Three guardians left. We're almost there. Keep it up! Oh! Okay, I forgot about this. A mysterious voice rings in your head. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou shall have her blessing when thou choosest to create a persona of the Judgment Arcana. The Nyx Annihilation Team Social Link has reached level 5. Your power to create personas of the Judgment Arcana has grown. Nice. Okay. Well, that was absolutely fine. I think that was just like a, yeah, okay fight. A little bit dicey when we had to go for the kill, but because they didn't actually, um, uh, yeah, because they didn't attack us on the next turn, we ended up winning because it was then 4v1. Once we realized we needed the extra person. Also interesting that they always went for the, um, like 100% went for the fire break on Junpei. It must be a thing where they're like, well, our attack move is fire, therefore we have to use fire break because we have to be able to hit the attack move. It's something like that in there. But um, whatever it is, it worked out great for us. Right. That's fine. Let's go. I'm just going with the current squad because they're all low level as well, so they'll get like huge benefits out of this. And we're different about the enemies here. Okay. So we're in the next tier of enemies, basically. Let me just check something here. So you get Makarunda. That's fine. So you're going to get some more um, support. Bait. Wait, no, let me go back in here. I must be misjudging who he is. Yeah, so he actually has no attacks abilities right now. He must have just thought he was a strength-based one earlier, but maybe he's, he had it and he no longer does, but he's definitely not strength-based anymore. He's almost entirely buff and debuff. Uh, he's like a buff and debuffer. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to change your equipment, actually, now that I know that. Well, Berserker's seal is fine, but I'm going to give you the Indra Bracers back. Because that's more your kind of thing. Uh, at least for right this second. A Mega Drive is great on you with the extra crit, and actually a Mega Drive is great on you with the extra crit. Yeah. I think they are, they are now correctly equipped. We need to do some more thinking about what the characters are actually doing, That's because, um, yeah, some of them we, we're still working on early game kind of knowledge, but early game knowledge doesn't really matter anymore. Like, there's a lot that's changed for each of them, especially as they've awakened. Their personas have actually changed in terms of what abilities they get as well. Uh, like, I guess is getting more healing stuff now, which is interesting. Oh, the other thing I was going to check is what uh, level everyone gets the next stuff at, but whatever. Uh, Zeodyne. I didn't even use our new persona, I just realized. I was going to try our arrow um, screen at some point, but I never did. Nice, double crit. Let us strike while the uh, we're lent. Understood. This is fine as long as it doesn't double crit. I was defeated an enemy. One more to go. Oh, we didn't find out the weakness, though. Shuffle time. Uh, I'll take the XP. There we go. 2.5k, huh? It's not bad. <laughs> My skills have improved. Was that the level you needed for your next thing? Have a look. Uh, no, you need one more level. Okay. What do you get next? So next you get uh, at 60 you get Matarukaja. 
to say you get buff things, but you see, unlike um, Akihiko, her other ones are attack moves, which is why she's still, you know, an attacker, even though she's got a lot of those buffs. Well, his ones are kind of electric moves. I mean, physical attacker, obviously. Yeah, high counter next. Very, very good, actually. Yeah, th these are some good things. Let's double checking for items. Oh, wait, this could be an item room. It's not, but it could have been. It was kind of the right shape. Uh, right, head up. I can barely sense a powerful presence, but I need more time to determine where it is. Okay. While you're here, uh, why don't you heal, I guess? Thanks. Uh, turn around. That'll work. That's the stairs, right? It is, but also, that's nice of it. Zeo gem? Ugh. Alright, whatever. It's fine. The enemies are getting stronger. Okay. We haven't really seen that many of them. The Patra gem? Uh, I might take this fight. Because we should take them for XP now that I think about it. We should take a lot of them. A dead end as well, unfortunately. Uh, okay. So we know this one is weak to wind. Don't know about the other two. Let's Zeodyne this one. Just do large damage. That's fine. There's electricity. That's their weakness. Great to know. Okay, good to know. Blade of Fury. Okay. Then, uh, Zeodyne. And we'll follow that up with a little Zeodyne. That was a miss! Oh, I hate that. That's just horrible. Okay. I would like to use Zeodyne. So that actually means that we might be slightly underleveled in terms of agility, the fact that we keep missing. Uh, which would make sense, because that's one of the stats we would raise the least. But it's interesting. I didn't even check what the persona was. I probably should on those ones. Oh, it's Kali. We've already got that. Okay. 1.8k. Level up for Junpei. Hey, what did you just get? We'll res our two friends in a second. Uh, so you got high counter. Next one is Firebreak. Okay, so he's actually getting one that's not about his physical attack as, as well. Huh, interesting. We have a lot of these, so I can afford to use them. We could restock at some point, but that's okay. Then I'll get uh, Akihiko to heal everyone. Should probably use healing items as well at some point instead of just doing that, but whatever. Uh, I'll just do this so we reveal the map, and then we'll walk back this way. Not a huge point revealing the map, but it just means I won't walk back that way in theory. Uh, this way? Oh, dead end. Probably over here. I don't really want to fight the single enemy, because it frightens me somewhat. Um, uh, yeah, I think it might be that way, though. Oh, turn around. <laughs> Do not face this direction. Thank you. Thank you. Right, hit it. There are five enemies. Attack! Zeodyne. Good start. Zeodyne. Followed up with Zeodyne. This is the kind of thing that makes you want to get Thunder's Call back again. Like this type of fight. Now we miss. No? No, we hit all of them. Okay, so our agility might not be that low. We just probably just had an unlucky fight. Shuffle time. 
No XP. That's Loki far left. Um, oh, we can get the item. Yeah, we can get this one. Hero's bow. Oh, it's the one that we already know is not that good. Okay. I'm gonna take this fight. Also means that the uh, wrestler was the one that was worth the XP in the previous fight. Just given what happened there. Uh, let's go Doom Sword first. Uh, and then. Lower defense, sure. I'm just doing a stall turn. Because I want to know what they're weak to. That's fine. Okay, not electricity. Okay. That one's still dead. Uh, vicious strike. That'll probably work. Nice. Good job. Uh, oh, I would like the nine um, XP, please. There we go. 3,000 experience. We level up. 67. 68 allows us to create a baton. Everyone leveled up. Has... Wow. Okay. So, we know Junpei doesn't get his next thing. You got your next one. So, your next one is a full res. Okay, so G's turning straight up into a healer, huh? Not really into, like, that kind of role in our team. Uh, at least as a side to her attack roll. It might just mean her attacks reach the maximum it's going to hit. He's going to get a heal as well, though, which replaces his, like, bad heal. So it might be that a lot of people are just getting, like, a side healer roll, just to make it easier in the final fights. Or not so much easier, but, like, it's just a roll that you would need a lot in the final fights to make it, like, overrepresented in the party to not limit your party size. If that makes Or the party choices, yes, would be a better way of putting it. I'll scan the target. I'm just going to wait in the hopes that this uh, saves this one. It must be eliminated. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Well, at least we know wind won't work. Oh, I didn't check his spring of light. Where's he getting that? That must be from his... Um, yeah, from him. But we never actually checked it. You. Hello. What is Spring of Life? It's an ability he has. It's just called Spring of Life. I don't remember him getting it, so it must have been from Awakening, maybe. It's the first one in the slot. In his slots, it's the first one, so that might mean Awakening is likely. So I think if you get a new one, it generally ends up in the final slot, so... Yeah, interesting. Um, we know the small enemies are not actually that scary right now. They occasionally are, though. I think this is a tiny floor. I'm just gonna ignore this. It's a tiny floor, I think. Or not. No, no, it is a tiny floor. Yeah. It's fine. Huh? It's that close? It's on the 236th floor. Please be careful. Fi final boss on the 250th floor? No, they don't really care about numbers, do they? They just go for, like random numbers for the boss floors, but in my head I'm like, could be though. Those are the stairs, huh? Okay. If I go this way, we're going to have a much better chance of hitting them without being uh, intercepted. The enemy is on the next floor. Okay. Uh, still haven't seen, like, many golden enemies since that one, uh, since that first one we found as well. Just thinking, because we need to do that for a quest. Yeah, you're, you're just awkwardly placed. No way to hit you. Yeah, that's somehow worse. And you were facing, like, directly at me previously. There we go. Uh, we know what you're weak to, right? Nope. Alright. Don't kill it. Nice. That might be strong. Nope. Still alive. It has multiple weaknesses. Oh, that's good to know. He now uses his fire move. And then we can just kill the Zeodyne. 
Uh, yeah, Zeodite. I was considering just attacking for a weapon, but I think this is slightly more consistent. Good job. Awesome. Uh, I don't know. I guess I'll take the heal. Logic being that we have, I guess, you know, doing a lot of uh, physical attacks, so her healing is good. Thor leveling up is great. Three extra agility means he'll miss less uh, often. Uh, absolutely not. No, Vicious Strike is perfect. It's a physical attack on the same thing that we have a nullification on. It's like the ultimate thing to remove uh, Tetracarn. Like, if I remembered it when we were actually in a Tetracarn fight, opposed to finding it out, like, halfway through the fight when it didn't really matter anymore. Uh, right. This way. Um... This way? Oh, it is this way. Okay. It's fine. And now we're on another boss floor. Easy as. One enemy. Okay, so usually that would have meant on previous ones, before the fifth block, that this was the final one. But because it's the sixth block and after the fifth block, we know there are five guardians, so this is just like the middle one of the floor. Uh, it probably is worth heading back to heal up. I'm not going to pick up anyone new, I'm just going to try the fight, we'll see how it goes, and then if it goes badly, we'll um, adjust, right? That's, that's the plan. So I'll do my save here, actually, on the assumption that we're going to die. Let's go. Right. There was somebody I was... Uh, I was thinking, I, I did watch somebody play uh, Dark Souls once, and they had a ver and the reason I'm bringing it up, right, is kind of random. But they had a logic that they wouldn't pick up all their souls before they did the boss fight. And the reasoning was, if they picked up their souls, they were admitting that there was a chance that they could lose, thereby meaning that they were, you know, subconsciously be more likely to lose the fight. And leaving them on the ground meant, I'm confident I can get them again late, you know, after I defeat this boss. I don't know how, you know, accurate that is, but I was just thinking about it there. I just did another quick save. Uh, when I did the quick save before we even went up, I'm like, yeah, our current strategy is so bad that I'm assuming that we're going to fail that badly. So therefore, we're going to have to go all the way back down. You know, it was just a thought in my head. I was like, huh. This shadow is a formidable foe. Its arcana is justice. Thanks for telling me that. Um, don't know what relevance it's gonna have, because we don't have any weapons that specifically target those, but okay. World balance. Give me a now you I'll were the one the that on the previous floor was weak to electricity. So, you know, we have to try it, right? Okay, lots of health. Yikes. Okay, there's a self-heal, I guess. Gigantic fist. That's not even that much damage. Oh no. Oh no. Um, I'm gonna bomb of life Akihiko. Our win is if Akihiko is alive. Alright, well, I know what to do here, right? We know we know our first move. It's an easy first fix, right? So we do this. Uh, we're going to tactics up I guess to be... Uh, actually, uh, yeah, you can act freely. That's fine. Never mind. Uh, we're going to switch to um, Hellbiker. And then we're going to apply... I don't know. Decreased defense. Sure. Let's try that. I was going to put her in to... Oh, Reflected hurt it, interestingly. I was going to put her into um, her attack mode, but I realized by doing that she can't heal herself, so that's kind of not great. Okay. Uh, attack it. That's not bad. A Garudine. Okay, so they do switch. She's just gonna keep healing herself each turn. 
Alright. Attack it for the hope that we crit at some point. Zeodyne. And then Spirit Drain. Wow. Okay. He's back. And we are... Also back now. And then we're dead, right? Let's see uses fire. For poop for death. We're still alive. Uh, attack it. I didn't crit? What are you talking about? Okay, I'm dead. Okay. We know what works and what, what, what doesn't work there. So what that one's going to do is it's going to cycle through different elements to hit us. So what we want is either something that makes us immune to all the elements and then we just keep hitting it with the hammer. Or we want a mixture of party members who will survive long enough that they can then, you know, heal up. So Yukari, you're on the survival squad. You're going to replace... Akihiko, because he dies to a single hit, right? Now, I'm not sure that you have more health. Uh, I actually can't see your health stat, interestingly. I can only see your endurance stat. But my logic is she has a lot of dodge for electricity, so she can dodge the thing that she is... Uh, I'm trying to think. Like, she can dodge the thing that she is weakest against and therefore can heal everyone else in theory. Could maybe even try that, but I don't know if that's the plan here. Yeah, let's try that. Leave you where you are. It's fine. So you're in the party. Junpei is actually okay. I guess is actually okay. I'm considering a Mitsuru. I'm considering a Ken, right? So th those are both on the consideration pile. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, let's head up here and let's try it. I suspect we're under leveled, right? Given that we've done pretty much zero grinding and every single time we do a fight we level up. But, you know, let's try it. Uh, am I on Thor? I am on Thor. Um... It's probably optimal to be Hellbiker and then switch back to Thor, maybe? No. Uh, it's Hellbiker. Then do I have something that's like strong against everything? They sold you. No. Garuda? And yeah, that would only work if. Um, yeah, that, that's not gonna work. What's your endurance? Your endurance is 55. Your endurance is 56. Yeah, so it is probably optimal to start Hellbiker switch to Thor. And when it does all the elements, switch back to Hellbiker. But yeah, start Thor, switch to Hellbiker, switch back to the Thor. This, this is fine. Why? Immediately, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you on heal support. I understand. I'm going to put you on full assault. Gotcha. And I'm going to put you on heal support. Leave it to me. Just because these are things that we need. I can't remember what her, her support skills are. Uh, uh, as an I guess is, but that's okay. We will Persona switch to Hellbiker. And then I'm going to lower your uh, defense. There you go. There's the plan. Let's see how this works. Use an almighty damage move. Presumably because we had so many immunities that it just went, I can't actually hit you. Okay. That's really annoying. I wonder if it's just going to do it again. In theory, we should Persona switch to Thor. Uh, then... Heal. Uh, do we have Bead Chain? No. So it'd be a Soma we're using. Okay, let's use a Soma. That's fine. We're down. Yeah, you healed yourself. Well done. Okay. Fight hard. And then Garadine.
Interesting. Okay. So it used an almighty move to start, which is unfortunate. We could, on turn one, switch to Garuda. No, Garuda has the same problem that... See, I think the problem was we switched to Hellbiker. And when we switched to Hellbiker, that gave us... Well, it gave, no, it gave us triple electricity weakness. I don't know why that didn't... Um, that didn't do something. Yeah, I don't know. It's interesting. I wonder if we'll do it again. Let's try it again. We're underleveled, right? We need to go and sort that out. Because we don't have enough people who can actually survive a hit from this enemy. But let's try this. Might be worth having Rickarm available on two people. Don't know. In which case, you know, we're still underleveled. Because it would make sense to have Igus be one of those people. When we could have triple uh, Rickarms effectively. But anyway. Let's start with this. Let's maybe not switch from Thor. We'll stay Thor for just now. Let's not lower its defense and let's instead do a... You know what would be interest? Oh, wait, no, first of all. Uh, heal support. Heal support. Uh, follow up with a magic mirror. We had two magic. We had uh, six magic mirrors, didn't we? Where did they go? Maybe they're under these me tamas. There we are. Yeah. Let's do magic mirror, which should reflect the almighty attack as well. This might be our move. We just kill it with magic mirror. I won't lose. Let's see how this goes. This Not a lot of damage. We're raising our dodge, which is great. That might allow us to preserve magic mirrors. Oh, so Magic Mirror does not block that in this game. We do have bead chains, they're down here. Okay. Well, you're gonna raise our defense. Love it. Okay. That also does not seem to miss. I think it just spams that if you put up a magic mirror. Let's, let's just try another heal. We'll see what it does. Persona. Oh, there's Fatal End. The enemy is still alive. Yeah. Okay. I don't need to play that out. It just spams that if you don't have a heal. Okay. So, what we need to do is we need to level up, right? Uh, and we need to effectively level up to the point where we're not worried about dying in one hit and then it's consistent healing i think what that fight is designed to do now maybe i'm reading too much into it and it's just a randomly designed fight i like to think that things are done with a purpose i think that fight is a straight up um like just check on your health and damage and it's basically saying if this boss is a challenge for you you're under leveled if this boss is not a challenge for you you're at the correct level right and by that I'm meaning, if you are able to survive its AoE attack and heal up, like by let's say uh, Yukari using full heal in an AoE, then that boss is zero challenge because it has no, as far as we can tell, it has no other mechanics other than a deal damage to you. If you can't heal up, that boss is impossible because you're just going to take too much damage, right? Essentially, that's the way I see it, and they've given it so much health that I also feel like they're deliberately, um, like, getting you to the point where you can't just randomly cheese it with a crit or something. I mean, you probably could, but you know what I mean? Like, it, even if you did that, it would live, and it's a high chance it would still get you. So, yeah, I think that is the intention of it, is that you, you know, level up a little bit. Uh, which is good because we're actually in a new section of enemies which means those new sections of enemies will give like 3000 XP a fight and we can level up super quickly so yeah something to think about anyway I'm going to end the episode there thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time goodbye